the phrase, Scientia potentia est, or Scientia est potentia, or also Scientia potestas est, is a Latin aphorism meaning, knowledge is power. It is commonly attributed to Sir Francis Bacon, although there is no known occurrence of this precise phrase in Bacon's English or Latin writings. However, the expression, IPSA scientia potestas est, knowledge itself is power, occurs in Bacon's Meditationis Sacrae. The exact phrase, Scientia potentia est, was written for the first time in the 1668 version of the work Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes, who was secretary to Bacon as a young man. The related phrase, sapientia est potentia, is often translated as, wisdom is power. topic history topic origins and parallels the earliest documented occurrence of the phrase knowledge is power is from Imam Ali 599 to 661 CE as recorded in the 10th century book Nahj al-Balaha originally in Arabic He said Knowledge is power and it can command obedience A man of knowledge during his lifetime can make people obey and follow him and he is praised and venerated after his death Remember that knowledge is a ruler and wealth is its subject. Another account of this concept is found in the Shahnameh by the Persian poet Ferdowsi CE, who wrote, "'Capable is he who is wise' in Persian." This hemistitch is translated to English as, "'Knowledge is power' or one who has wisdom is powerful. A proverb in practically the same wording is found in Hebrew, in the biblical book of Proverbs 24 5. This was translated in the Latin Vulgata as, Ver sapiens a fortis est a ver doctus robustus a validus. And in the King James Version, the first English official edition, as, A wise man is strong, a man of knowledge increaseth strength. <laughs> Thomas Hobbes The first known reference of the exact phrase appeared in the Latin edition of Leviathan 1668. The English version had been published in 1651. This passage from part 1, De Homen, chapter 10, De potentia, dignitate honori, occurs in a list of various attributes of man which constitute power in this list sciences or the sciences are given a minor position scientia potentia est said parva kia scientia egregia rara est nec pro inde apparens nisi porcissimus a in porcis rebus scientiae enum a in natura est ut esse intelligi non posset nisi ab illus qui sunt scientia praediti in the English version this passage reads as thus The sciences are small powers, because not eminent, and therefore, not acknowledged in any man, nor are at all, but in a few, and in them, but of a few things. For science is of that nature, as none can understand it to be, but such as in a good measure have attained it. 
On a later work, De Corpore also written in Latin, Hobbes expanded the same idea. The end or scope of philosophy is, that we may make use to our benefit of effects formerly seen for the commodity of human life. The end of knowledge is power. Lastly, the scope of all speculation is the performing of some action, or thing to be done. In Jean Hampton, Hobbes and the Social Contract Tradition 1988, Hampton indicates that this quote is after Bacon and in a footnote, that Hobbes was Bacon's secretary as a young man and had philosophical discussions with him Aubrey 1898, 331. Topic: Francis Bacon. The closest expression in Bacon's works is perhaps the expression "scientia potestas est," found in his Meditationis Sacrae, 1597, which is perhaps better translated as "knowledge is his power." because the context of the sentence refers to the qualities of God and is embedded in a discussion of heresies that deny the power of God Statuantque latiores terminos scientiae de quam potestatis, vel potius edges partis potestatis de nam aipsa scientia potestas est quae scit, quam edges quae movit a agit, ut praesiat quae dam otios, quae non praedestinet a praeordine. The English translation of this section includes the following. This canon is the mother of all canons against heresies. The cause of error is twofold, ignorance of the will of God, and ignorance or superficial consideration of the power of God. The will of God is more revealed through the scriptures, his power more through his creatures. So is the plenitude of God's power to be asserted, as not to involve any imputation upon his will. So is the goodness of his will to be asserted, as not to imply any derogation of his power. Atheism and theomachy rebels and mutinies against the power of God, not trusting to his word, which reveals his will, because it does not believe in his power, to whom all things are possible. But of the heresies which deny the power of God, there are, besides simple atheism, three degrees. The third degree is of those who limit and restrain the former opinion to human actions only, which partake of sin, which actions they suppose to depend substantively and without any chain of causes upon the inward will and choice of man, and who give a wider range to the knowledge of God than to his power, or rather to that part of God's power for knowledge itself is power whereby he knows, than to that whereby he works and acts, suffering Offering him to foreknow some things as an unconcerned looker on, which he does not predestine and preordain, a notion not unlike the figment which Epicurus introduced into the philosophy of Democritus, to get rid of fate and make room for fortune, namely the sidelong motion of the atom, which has ever by the wiser sort been accounted a very empty device. pp. 94 95, Works of Bacon, Volume 14. Boston, Brown and Taggart, 1861 Interpretation of the notion of power meant by Bacon must therefore take into account his distinction between the power of knowing and the power of working and acting, the opposite of what is assumed when the maxim is taken out of context. Indeed, the quotation has become a cliché. In another place, Bacon wrote, Human knowledge and human power meet in one, for where the cause is not known the effect cannot be produced. Nature to be commanded must be obeyed, and that which in contemplation is as the cause is in operation as the rule. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote in his essay Old Age, included in the collection Society and Solitude 1870, Skill to do comes of doing, knowledge comes by eyes always open, and working hands, and there is no knowledge that is not power. <laughs> Wissen ist Macht in Germany After the 1871, unification of Germany, Wissen ist Macht, geographisches Wissen ist Weltmacht. Knowledge is power, geographical knowledge is world power was often used in German geography and the public discussion to support efforts for a German colonial empire after 1880. Julius Perth's e.g., used the motto for his publishing house. However, the installation of geographical research followed popular requests and was not imposed by the government. Especially Count Bismarck was not much interested in German colonial adventures. His envoy Gustav Nachtigall started with the first protective areas, but was more interested in ethnological aspects. After World War I, German geography tried to contribute to efforts to regain a world power. Scholars like Karl Haushofer, a former general, and his son Albrecht Haushofer both in close contact with Rudolf Hess got worldwide attention with their concept of geopolitics. Associations of German geographers and school teachers welcomed the Machtergreifung and hoped to get further influence in the new regime. The post-war geography was much more cautious, concepts of political geography and projection of power had not been widespread scholarly topics till 1989 in Germany. Geographical knowledge is however still of importance in Germany. Germans tend to mock U.S. politicians and celebrities' comparable lack of interest in the topic. A sponti our parliamentarische opposition version of the slogan is, Wissen ist Macht, nichts wissen, Macht auch nichts, a pun about the previous motto along the line. Knowledge is power, but being ignorant doesn't bother anyway." Joschka Fischer and Daniel Cohn-Bendit belong to those spontists that nevertheless held powerful positions, in Fischer's case with no more formal education than a taxi driver's license. The German Bundeswehr Beteithlon Elektronische Kampferung 932, an electronic warfare unit based in Frankenberg Ida, still uses the Latin version Cientia Potentia Est as its motto. <laughs> Interpretation Though its meaning varies from author to author, the phrase often implies that with knowledge or education, one's potential or abilities in life will certainly increase. Having and sharing knowledge is widely recognized as the basis for improving one's reputation and influence, thus power. This phrase may also be used as a justification for a reluctance to share information when a person believes that withholding knowledge can deliver to that person some forms of advantage. Another interpretation is that the only true power is knowledge, as everything including any achievement is derived from it. See also Information warfare Intelligence information gathering List of Latin phrases Power knowledge Rationality and power